Good day, YouTube. Today is uh, March 18th. It's 2018. And uh, yesterday I completed the last video of a three-video series on building a custom trailer. Um, I did kind of knock it out this morning. I painted it yesterday. Got the lights all on it. Put all the jacks on it. Everything works. Ready to roll. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is to deck the trailer. And I don't mean hit it. I mean put something like a cover over all the framing so what i got i've had about three sheets of four foot by ten foot long diamond plate i've been calling it quarter inch it's probably really three sixteenths um is it lightweight no man this thing is so heavy um but it'll be a great deck for that trailer um but i thought i'd do a video on how to cut aluminum um and you can basically just do it with a a good skill saw but this is uh, not for the faint of heart. It is a noisy, messy, uh, kind of half a violent uh, process um, that you really kind of maybe want a little bit of experience with before you just jump in there. But uh, it's uh, not insurmountable, but uh, be prepared. Uh, it's noisy. Um, some people say put the blade on your uh, skill saw, use a carbide blade, put it on backwards. I don't. I leave it on the correct direction. Uh, don't take too big of a bite out of it. So I've just basically exposed the teeth down around, oh, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch, quarter inch, something like that. So I'm not taking a big deep bite and the teeth aren't hitting at like 90 degree angles. I've set my uh, Pittsburgh uh, straight edge along here. However, this sheet is warp this way from sitting on its side for I don't know I've had it 15 years um, so to keep the uh, straight edge flat basically the guide to run my saw against I did have to clamp it down but uh, as violent as this is going to be that's not a bad idea anyway so I've uh, measured the back space basically from my fence to the back side of my blade in my case I had about an inch and three quarter I need a six foot piece to deck my trailer with so I measured up six foot, one and three quarter inches, and that's where I put my fence. And I'm gonna get ready to uh, cut the fence. Um, so safety glasses for sure, long sleeves for sure, and uh, gloves for sure, because it's gonna throw stuff everywhere. It's gonna be very, very noisy. So uh, let me put you in a stand and we're good to go. I think I better adjust this uh, stand right here a little bit before I start so it doesn't all fall apart on me. Where's a good place to put you and keep you out of harm's way? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Time for new gloves.
gonna grab a board, which is what I'm gonna do. It's the only way to fix it. Sometimes we gotta show you how to do it wrong, right? Yeah, the uh, aluminum kind of went in on me and it pulled away from the blade. It didn't have quite enough blade down to cover that. But uh, not too bad a cut. Of course, nice and straight. A little violent. You're gonna need to use a real saw. <laughs> I wouldn't use a, like a cordless or something unless you've got one cordless saw better than mine. But anyway, that's it. We're cutting the aluminum today. I'm going to just clean up that edge a little bit with a file. And we'll, I'm going to put some caulking down on the trailer. Um, on all of the cross members. Um, I don't think it really matters what. Just whatever I got sitting on the shelf. Silicone or window caulk or something. So that when I screw it down, it's like a gasket and it won't rattle as it rolls down the highway. That would be cool. So anyway, that's a cutting aluminum with a scale saw. Uh, my uh, tech tip would be to put something up directly underneath it, a sacrificial piece of wood next time um, because it uh, warped on me a little bit, but that's okay. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. So I have the diamond plate laid on the trailer and I had some a whole new tube of black silicone so on top of each cross member I laid a nice bead of black silicone that'll keep this thing from rattling I just thought I'd show you what I use to tie these down or screw these down I see these tech screws I get them at uh, Home Depot Phillips said they are a tech screw but I do pre-drill the hole like an eighth inch or something pre-drill it through the aluminum and the steel and then these go in like water that's the screw that I use. So uh, let's screw this down. Good, I'll put you on the stand. Thought I heard a door shut around here, so I was looking to see if someone was coming. Yeah. There we go. Eight screws to do. We'll make quick work of this. Diamond plate looks good, doesn't it? 
on there. Ooh, you don't want to be around for this. It could get crazy. All right, thanks again. We'll catch you next time.